sprinklers are a fundamental piece of equipment that you will need to start your farming empire. This video will be an overview and a guide on all the different types of sprinklers and I will show you some of the sprinkler upgrades that were added in the 1.5 update. Boiler alert, they are a game changer. We are so close to 1000 subscribers, so if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Alrighty, let's get started. I'm going to start off with the first sprinkler that you unlock at level 2 farming. It only costs one copper bar and one iron bar to make, but there is a reason that it is so cheap to craft. It can only water 4 tiles. It waters the horizontal tiles and the vertical tiles. And if you want to cover a large area, your sprinkler setup is going to look pretty weird. You'll be wasting a lot of space and I really don't recommend using the sprinkler at all all, especially in the early game, when you have very few resources, you should probably not waste them on making these sprinklers. Rather wait for some of the better sprinklers you can unlock at higher levels. I think it would be more effective to level your watering can early instead of crafting and placing these sprinklers. At level 6 farming, you will unlock a much better sprinkler. The quality sprinkler is a little bit more expensive to craft. You will need one iron bar, one gold bar, and one refined quartz. And they water all eight tiles around them. They still don't water that much, but they are actually not bad. I usually craft these when I unlock them because by the time I get to the level six farming, I'm pretty tired of watering every day. You can also wait until you unlock the iridium sprinklers if you want. Since the quality sprinklers waters the vertical corners too, they are pretty easy to stack and water a large area. Just place your sprinklers three tiles away from each other with two empty spaces between them. You can actually cover a pretty large area with a couple of these sprinklers. Iridium sprinklers. This is what you risk your life for in the skull cavern. For some sprinklers, definitely worth the risk in my opinion. You will unlock the iridium sprinklers at level 9 farming and they cost one gold bar, one iridium bar, and one battery pack to make. To get the iridium bars, you need to mine deep into the skull cavern and collect the iridium ore. To make batteries, you need to make lightning rods. When they are struck by lightning, they will harness the energy and produce battery packs for a year. Yes, the iridium sprinkler is very expensive to make, but they are so worth it. Trust me. The iridium sprinkler waters 24 tiles around them. That is three times the range of the quality sprinkler. And they're also very easy to stack. Just place them five tiles apart from each other and four empty spaces between each sprinkler. You can cover a huge area with just a few of these. You should be working on making as many iridium sprinklers as soon as you can. They will allow you to truly build a farming empire. Added in the latest 1.5 update, you can now upgrade your sprinklers. You can buy the upgrades at Mr. Key's walnut room for 20 key gems. To get to his walnut room, you will need to find 100 golden walnuts. And to get Key's gems, you will need to complete Mr. Key's special order requests. They are pretty tough, but actually really fun. I really enjoyed the challenge. The first upgrade is the pressure nozzle. And this one is really good. The pressure nozzle can be placed on any sprinkler to increase its total watering radius by one tile. When you place it on a iridium sprinkler, it will water 48 tiles around it. That is twice as effective as the regular iridium sprinkler. Using these upgraded iridium sprinklers, you can easily water your entire farm with just a few sprinklers. This will help out a ton in the greenhouse, as the space in the greenhouse is already limited. The other upgrade is also pretty cool, but not nearly as good as the pressure nozzle. The other upgrade is called the enricher. When you place it on the sprinkler, it will allow you to put fertilizer into it. And whenever you plant a new crop within the range of the sprinkler, it will automatically fertilize it for you. It can save you some time, but I will probably only use the pressure nozzle. I just don't use fertilizer that often. I'm sure you've heard of the retaining soil. You use it on prepared soil just before planting the seeds. And there's a small chance that it will stay watered the next day. Well, there's a new and improved version of that. Deluxe retaining soil. It has a 100% chance of staying watered and will keep your crops watered forever. 
By using deluxe retaining soil, you will only need to water your crops once and never again, especially on Ginger Island since there are no seasons there. Imagine how well this would work for ancient fruit on Ginger Island as they regrow their fruit. The deluxe retaining soil recipe can be bought from the island trader for 50 cinder shards. The recipe is also very simple and cheap to make. You only need 5 stones, 3 fiber and 1 clay to craft it. Since this will keep your crops watered forever, I think that is pretty damn cheap. Thank you so much for watching this video. I didn't even know that there were upgraded sprinklers until I randomly saw it in Mr. Key's shop. But damn, I am definitely going to turn all of my redeem sprinklers into super sprinklers. As always, I will see you in the next video.